morning everybody it is Monday November 30th and I don't like Mondays <sighs> work week but today was good my baby girl was sleeping over Aunt Sis's house last night so I didn't have to wake up early and get her on the bus so I thought I'd make a quick video here for you guys today I am going to talk about getting rid of all or sanitizing all your lipsticks with all the talk of swine flu, the H1N1, uh, everybody's like cootie crazy right now. Like you can't touch anybody. You can't. I was at church yesterday. You can't even give anybody the sign of peace at mass anymore. It's really crazy. So, but, um, but, you know, I tend to do this anyway, even when the world isn't crazy about getting diseases so this is going to be about sanitizing your lipsticks and keeping them cootie free okay so i'm just going to pick any lipstick here um and it just it's a regular tube of lipstick and you want to turn it um you don't want to do it all the way up because when you sanitize it it's probably going to break so maybe just do halfway up like what you're going to use or 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 even more than that actually so okay regular tube of lipstick and I'm gonna use this bottle um, just to kind of demonstrate but what I normally use is a generic bot um, generic bottle that you can get at, like the dollar store and you're gonna to want to fill it up with um, rubbing alcohol and you're just gonna take your lipstick and I'm gonna try not to spray my camera and you're just gonna spray it down just a little bit like that I don't know if you can see where it's kind of wet there okay See it there okay then you take a tissue any kind of Kleenex and you're just gonna gently wipe around the bot the barrel of the lipstick here and then for the top you're gonna you can just go right over it like normal like you're wiping away something very gently okay like that and what people don't realize with lipstick is that lipstick is so dense that you really can't, it doesn't absorb into the lipstick itself. It's really any kind of germs or bacteria is really going to be on the surface of the lipstick. So, um, so rubbing it with alcohol and just taking that first layer off is really going to do the trick with sanitizing it. So now to keep your lipstick sanitary, especially if you have a cold or something like that, there's another little trick that I learned working behind the makeup counters that you use. Mm. And you just take a normal Q-tip, regular day Q-tip, and what you're going to do is you're going to just scrape off a little bit, okay? So you're not going to actually apply this tube right to your lip. You're going to go and scrape some off. And I like to do it on the angle so it keeps the angle of the lipstick too. I mean, you could do it from the top, but then it's going to flatten out your lipstick. So, oops, I just boogered that up. Okay, all right. So there you go. So now I'm done with my tube of lipstick because I have what I need right here on my Q-tip. Okay. So what I do is I take the back of my hand and whatever I had on my Q-tip, I just rub on right there. So there's my lipstick that I'm going to use. It's like my palette that I'm going to use. Now you can take this tip of your Q-tip and apply to your lips, but the trick is to wet it. I'm going to just use my wet spray bottle here, but I usually run it under the sink, but I'm in my bedroom, not my bathroom. So um, you take your Q-tip and now this is moist. This is, it's not, um, it's not a dry Q-tip tip. So all the little fuzzies aren't sticking out of it. So if you were to go like this end where all the fuzzies are sticking out of it and go to your lip, you're going to have these little fuzzies stuck to your lip. So take your wet end go into your lipstick and just roll it around and you can really get a great application with a q-tip I mean I almost prefer it over a brush and then I'm gonna put this on a little bit I already have lipstick going but I'm just gonna do it for demonstration purposes and you're gonna apply just like you would from a brush and you get a pretty darn good I'm gonna go back in for more good application I love this color I wish I had nerve to wear it more often it's gorgeous it's a 
great red, isn't it? I love this color. Okay. And then you just take the tissue, rub it off the back of your hand here a little bit. Ta-da, gone. Oh. I probably shouldn't have used red because red is the bugger to get off. But, okay. There you go. And then the back of your hand is all makeup free, almost. Probably use a little makeup remover. And that's your makeup tip for the day. So, to keep your lipsticks cootie free, I uh, do this almost, uh, maybe once a month or... Or whatever. Of course, the ones I use on people, I do between every application. But my personal ones, I just use, um, I do maybe once a month. Um, if I have a cold, I do it every day. Um, or I'll use the Q-tip tip. So, um, that's your daily tip of the day. Have a wonderful Monday. Um, we'll see you all soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.